I've mentioned before the necessity of really focusing on crafting strong first drafts, um, on not just dashing off a bunch of words for a first draft, claiming that, hey, it's a, it's a first draft, it's meant to be crappy, and then going into your, you know, your later revisions, having to fix and revise tons and tons of things that wouldn't be an issue if you had focused more on your first draft on making more concise and clear sentences. Um, I, I, I talk all the time about making your first draft very, very clear, being very um, forward with what you're doing, and being very conscious about what you're putting down on the page the first time because it's going to shape the rest of your story. Um, and, and as I'm getting now towards the end of, of this revision process on my novel, it's become easier and easier now. Uh, I, I spoke last time on, on my last pass through. I mentioned um, that a lot of the work was just drudgery because it was just making a lot of superficial fixes. It was making a lot of changes to the tense and changing the narrator around. But for the most part, it, it, everything was structurally solid. A lot of my scenes worked. It was just making those sort of changes. And this time around, it's become even easier. It's not quite as as drudgery. It's not quite as, um, you know, kind of monotonous work. But just as from a writing perspective, it's it's easier. It's gotten easier as the process has gone along because my first initial draft was so strong. It was it was a bad first draft. It was still it's still a first draft. It was still bad. It still needed to be revised and polished. I've shown you before um, on a previous video, basically on what like my first draft looks like, um, when I write it out. So it was not perfect by any means, but the bones of it was, was so well done that the process has just got continually easier as I've gone along for the most part. Um, not always all instances, not, you know, in every single instance, but for the most part, these drafts have been easier than the preceding drafts. Which often doesn't happen, right? Often when people do a, a really quick first draft or they fast draft it, um, or they just they focus on just uh, on a, on heavy you know initial word counts to get their story down, the second draft becomes harder than the first. The third draft potentially is even harder than the third, and then it starts to get progressively easier and easier as things go on. That is something that I have. Um, tried really hard to avoid because in part it just gets easier as things goes on you're kind of suffering at the outset you're sort of suffering at the beginning of the project and things get easier as it goes on I find that that's much more motivating I find that's a lot easier um, to handle as a writer because as these projects go on your interest in them wanes at least for me, my, my interest in my, my dedication to my projects tend to wane as they go on. If, I, if I'm working on something for longer than maybe like, you know, six months, I need a break. Or, or my, my interest starts to really, really, really decline. So making the process easier is, is a way of, of sort of fighting that. Because you're telling yourself, yeah, I may not have as much interest, but this is going to be probably a little bit easier than the prior draft. This is going to be a little bit easier than the first time, you know, than what you just did. It's going to get a little bit better. Um, and so th th this really, at this point now, it, it feel, it's just gravy. Like, it just feels very, very simple. Um, it feels very, you know, just very, very easy. I, I'm going at a really good pace here. I, I hit my 50-word count day by noontime. So, uh, sorry, 50-page um uh, basically my 50 page um, deadline I'm trying to do each day I hit that by noontime uh, which is fantastic now I had the rest of the afternoon to do some extra work on that to potentially read sort of take it easy and relax it just becomes a lot easier now um, now that I've done this so many times now that I'm on my you know my eighth I think maybe it's probably like my eighth draft of this novel by this point um, it, it just has become much much easier and so again, for those that are starting their projects, for those that are, are kind of, you know, trying to figure out maybe an effective way of writing, I would again suggest to really put the effort in on the first draft instead, to really make your your initial draft strong. So that way things get a bit easier as as time goes on. It doesn't guarantee that you're not gonna yeah, you know, it, it it doesn't mean the whole process is gonna be easier, but 
um, you know, you're still going to face your challenges, but just making something a little bit easier each time, I just, again, it, it, it's more and more apparent now how much better that style is as opposed to um, making things really easy in the beginning, then progressively harder in the middle, and then easier again at the very end.